Some of our youngest cardiac patients are in the spotlight tonight. The 31st annual Save a Heart Superhero Gala benefits the Congenital Heart Center at CS Mott Children's Hospital. And get this, last year alone, the event raised more than half a million dollars for both research and support services. Let's bring in Dr. John Sharpie with CS Mott Children's Hospital with more info. Thanks, Doc, for being with us. Thank you for having me, Priya. I appreciate it. This is going to be a great event tonight. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. We're really excited. And we're talking about our youngest superheroes, right? Absolutely. So about one in 100 children are born with congenital heart disease. Okay. And then we take care of a whole other group of patients who develop heart disease during childhood. So th these kind of funds are critical, not just for advancing research and innovation, but for helping take care of these patients, some of our smallest victors. And I mean, we're talking about more than half a million that was raised just last year alone. How is this money spent? So to a large extent, it's helped to uh, advance research and, and clinical innovation. So we, this is what we use to develop the newest tools to keep right. us on the forefront of technology, to really bring advances in our field to our patients. You know, and when we think about some of our youngest patients, we're seeing some pictures up there. It just pulls at your heartstrings. I mean, these are some of our tiniest patients. Yes, we take care of babies that are diagnosed in utero when they're right. fetuses. And we take care of adults who have congenital heart disease as well. Uh, this is not a specialty that adult cardiologists are very familiar with. So we're taking care of everything from the smallest little newborns all the way up to 80 and 90 year olds. How vital is this type of research and support? It's critical. This is really our only fundraiser of the entire year. Oh, really? We're one of the largest heart centers and one of the most experienced in the entire country. And we're very fortunate to have this incredible team that works together to take care of these patients. So these funds are absolutely critical to our patients, our families, and to the uh, care providers. What does it mean to you when you see some of these young patients leave and then you see them thriving in life, doing the things normal kids do? It's just such a wonderful feeling. It's so fantastic. We're, we're blessed to be able to see these children and their families come back and visit us and become young adults and contribute yeah. to society. I mean, they now are thriving. You know, when I started in this business about uh, there were some lesions where they were uniformly fatal, and now we really? have over 97% survival for all forms really? of heart disease. So these children are living to adulthood, and they are just doing wonderfully. Well, we do want to get some information up on the screen because, as you mentioned, we are raising some important money tonight. Uh, this is a year-round initiative. We've got that information up on your screen. If folks want to donate, how can they do that? I think the best way is to go to our website, okay. which is victors.us backslash uh, save a heart 2024. That's awesome. And there's also a QR code on your screen if you'd like to donate right from home. I mean, these superheroes don't need to wear capes. They, they We already know they're heroes when they walk in the door, right? Absolutely. But we have capes for them, too. Oh, we so do? We're going we're <laughs> to have fun tonight. Uh, Jay Towers is coming out to do Love the it. MC. It's going to be a fantastic evening, and we're really excited. I'm, I'm imagining some maize and blue capes as oh, well. Oh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, yeah. Sneak it. we'll get a few of those in there, I too. I bet. Well, thank you, Dr. Sharpie, for thank being you. with us early today. And again, if you'd like to donate, we have that information on Click on Detroit. Com. Thanks, Doc. Thank you. Well, it is an epic piece of Detroit sports memorabilia. Just wait until you hear how much one hardcore Red Wings fan paid for this old jersey. It's a doozy. We'll be right back.